Rochit Jain and K. Subramaniam are our next two guests on the show. Subra, let me start with uh, you. Uh, what do you get uh, of this 8600 level? You think it will take a while before we actually take that out? There is selling pressure every time we go towards that uh, level? Well, uh, uh, Pangaj, I think these are all uh, mere uh, levels, you know, which we discussed. But, uh, we, I mean, the events have been so big uh, that, uh, you know, uh, we, we have we've seen clear the levels getting uh, broken on the downside as well as on the upside. So, for the time being, yeah, I think uh, what is uh, very clear is that the volatility which has which has shot up, uh, I think, the last 2-3 uh, days, that is sort of uh, subsiding now and probably after all these events, we will have some sort of consolidation. But uh, broadly, uh, the downside should be uh, around uh, this 8400, 8450. And the upside, the near term, yes, 8650 probably is near term cap but uh, as events pan out uh, the way they are and the banking counters looking quite exciting i think uh, we could be we could be heading for some uh, exciting expiry uh, this time around right uh, rochad what will be your view on nifty and bank nifty yeah, good afternoon pangaj uh, pangaj on nifty front probably we have uh, completed this corrective move around yesterday's low when uh, doing with the gap down opening nifty opened around the 200 days of moving average Ruchit, now, although Ruchit, can we you have start again, we had a Ruchit, can you just start again? We had an issue with the link at the start. Yeah, uh, Pankaj, yesterday's opening, if you see, then it was exactly around the 200 days uh, simple moving average in Nifty, and we have recovered quite a good amount of, uh, no, uh, uh, quite a good uh, f from those lower levels. So I think here on Bank Nifty has already given a breakout of the falling trendline resistance which has been formed in the last uh, couple of months. Nifty, although that breakout will come when it closes above 8600, but now one thing is uh, quite clear that the corrective move is now behind us. So definitely the next correction which would uh, come uh, maybe in next 2-3 to three trading sessions would not be more than 200-250 points from current levels. 8350-8400 to 8, would be a good support zone wherein buying should be done around those levels. And I think looking at the Bank Nifty and uh, the momentum which we had seen in last couple of trading sessions, I think uh, going at the next week probably we would again resume the uptrend and we would head higher in uh, both the indices. Right. Uh, and Bank Nifty is looking stronger than Nifty now? Yes, definitely Bank Nifty, and Bank Nifty is uh, looking much stronger. As I said, you know, last two months, this index on the daily chart, both the indices on the daily chart had formed this lower top, lower bottom formation. Now, today, Bank Nifty has given breakout from that lower top, lower bottom formation and that too with a gap up opening. So, that's that's a positive sign. So, I think in very near term, we would be uh, around the all-time high levels in Bank Nifty. But, what, uh, but the thing is that the other sectors other than banking and the metals have not seen a good performance or uh, have not shown that uh, positive momentum in, uh, in today's session. So probably in Nifty front, we may take some more time before the breakout comes of this falling trend line. But Bank Nifty has already given a breakout with a gap up opening. So I think uh, Bank Nifty would head further higher and all-time highs could be seen probably next week in Bank Nifty. Right, and all-time high could be seen in Bank Nifty. Uh, and how would you play that? Uh, would you go with, uh, you know, probably names like SBI and BOB now versus a Yes Bank or a Indusind that would have been the preference earlier? Uh, no, I think the outperformance uh, which is there uh, in last few, in last uh, in the recent fall, I think those stocks should be looked at. SBI definitely was one of the stock which had showed a sideways moment uh, which was a time-wise correction and today it has already given a breakout. So this positive momentum could be continued in SBI. Uh, one of the stock uh, which is Axis Bank, uh, you know, which had, no, which had seen decent uh, correction in last couple of months. Now in this correction, this stock has completed a five-wave impulsive down move. So I think a corrective up move which would retrace about 38.2% to 50% of this uh, recent fall should be seen. So SBI and Axis Bank are the two, uh, two uh, stocks from the large cap space which I think would, uh, uh, would head higher even from current levels. Right. Uh, so Rob, would you agree SBI, Axis Bank would be among your top picks as well? Yeah, I think uh, SBI and uh, probably also add a uh, Bank of Baroda and maybe a couple of other banks like Karnataka Bank and Federal Bank. Karnataka Bank, I think, also came out with a good set of numbers. So I think that, that could be heading much higher and uh, uh, and also the new generation bank, something like an IDFC bank, which uh, I think has a potential to all these announcements uh, of scaling up their, uh, I think, uh, operations. And I think uh, that is one interesting, uh, I think, uh, counter which I would be keeping an eye on. And barring that, of course, the PSU counters are, offer tremendous trading opportunities. PNB in particular stands out. Now I think it has broken past 145 so i think that could be a decent trading bet uh, in the near term right uh, we just have about a minute minute and a half there for closing uh, just quickly Duchit, any topics apart from the banking space 
uh, one of the mid cap space that we are uh, looking at is max financial services this stock probably after a recent consolidation has given a breakout in today's session last three trading sessions the stock has been showing uh, good volumes uh, when the uh, prices are moving higher post opening so i think uh, uh, from from next two to three days or one week points of view one can look to buy max financial services as current levels expecting a target of around 620 Max Financial Services. So I'll just come back to you, gentlemen. Idea is up 0.6. Adani Ports is up about 4 odd percent. A minute to go for closing. Yes Bank is up 5 percent now. Sipla is up 8 percent. So despite the markets correcting, actually Sipla did not see any correction. ONGC is up 1.8. NTPC is up 0.5. Infosys is down 2 percent, and Tech Mahindra is up close to 2 percent, 4.43. Orbindo 4 percent higher, 791. Bharti Airtel is up close to 3%. HDFC Bank is up 2.5%, and, and Kotak Bank is down about 0.13%. Lupin results came out yesterday. Numbers were not that great, and maybe that's why you're seeing this reaction: 2% decline. Ambuja Cement, 0.0, absolutely flat actually. Z Entertainment, no major change. VPCL up 0.59%, and HCL Tech up about a percent. Bharti Infratel, 6.6% higher, 386. Tata Motors DVR, 0.68. Gale up half a percent. Asian Paints down four percent, one thousand ten. Wipro is down point six, and Indusind Bank is up about a percent or so. M and M is down one and a half. Asian Paints is down four percent. TCS is down about a percent. HUL is down about one point two percent. Maruti is down one and a half percent. Grasim is up about two percent. Hero Motor Corp is down three percent. Remember, it was one of the top losers yesterday as well. Axis uh, ACC is up half a percent. Ultratech Cement is up close to two percent. Bajaj Auto is down close to 2%, 2,715. Aisha Motors is down close to 2%. Tata Steel, 9% move, 436 for Tata Steel, 10 million shares traded, 37.38 uh, rupees as far as Tata Steel is concerned. What a move this name has had since morning. It's looked very strong and continues to be the case. Bank of Baroda up about 9%, 165, 166 for Bank of Baroda, 19 odd million shares traded uh, for uh, this uh, name. Again, a very very strong move. SBI Hindalco would be also among the top gainers. Hindalco on your screen is up close to eight and a half percent, one seventy-six. I think it's a new high as far as Hindalco is concerned on a yearly basis. SBI is up close to eight percent, two hundred and eighty-one, eight percent higher for SBI, and it's still just the fourth largest gainer. It's not even the first one. Sipla up eight percent, Bharti Infratel up six percent, Yes Bank up five, Power Grid up five, and you know the list can just go on. Uh, and on uh, so bro what do you do with a stock like sipla 567 very good set of numbers but uh, you know it it has some strength versus the market as well well pankaj i think uh, yeah see we have seen a stellar rise but closer to levels of 580 probably i would uh, i would think it will pause and uh, we could do some sort of profit taking because i think we need some fresh trigger for it to go past that level so i think 580 should be the near term target for uh, sipla right uh, rochit what would you do with sipla Well, the recent correction has uh, retraced a uh, more than 61.8 percent, and uh, today's gap up opening has been followed by a good uh, momentum with good volumes. So I think this up move could uh, still further higher towards uh, 585, 590. And uh, but I don't think that you know this is an this would be an impulsive up move, and the recent high is 615, 620 would be crossed very easily. So it would be in a trading range of 590 to 540. If if you get the stock towards lower end of the range, about uh, 540, then I 540, 550 range, then I think that should be used as a good buying opportunity. Right, 540, 560 should be used as a, a good buying opportunity. Say if somebody buys around 550, 545, what should be the stop and the targets? So one can keep a stop loss below 511, 511 on the stock. The first target would be around 590 for this. 594. Uh, Ordindo Pharma. How would you look at that, Ruchit? That was also quite strong today. Yes, but expecting a lot of volatility in this because if we observe last three four trading sessions, the stock has already given a run up from six hundred eighty, which was yesterday late to to eight hundred levels, and uh, even this uh, recent uh, rising trend line, which was there, that was uh, quite easily breached in last uh, since last two to three trading sessions. So it's very difficult to take a trade from current levels because your stop losses would be too far, and the volatility definitely would be quite higher uh, in this stock. So if anyone is holding the stock, there's no still trend reversal signs that the Uh, that the stock would uh, go much below uh, the recent lows of 680 or 700 levels so one can continue to hold the stock if if uh, anyone has already bought it but won't recommend uh, recommend for fresh buying uh, since uh, you know the risk reward won't be much favorable 
Right. Uh, so, bro, what do you do with Tata Steel? So, Pankaj, I think it's given a very strong breakout. I mean, 430, 35, this was the level where, you know, we saw some uh, some sort of resistance. Now, it's cleared that level also. So, I think uh, near term, I would expect uh, that uh, we could see level, I mean, probably uh, heading for levels of maybe 465. So, I think with this breakout and uh, it has been trading above that level or around about that level today. So, I think uh, we could see some more upside coming about. Right. Uh, as far as Indalco is concerned, similar, a very strong breakout. Well, it's been a stellar performer along with, uh, I think, uh, Hindusan Zinc. I think, uh, but Hindu Hindalco broadly has outperformed the entire metal space. So, I think near term 180, I would probably maybe, uh, uh, yeah, it's almost approaching 180. So, 180, 185 would be the near term target. I think the results are also around the corner. So, probably maybe at that yeah, level, we should pause. Yeah, probably we could see some pause uh, at that, those levels. But yes, uh, reasonably, uh, one could uh, expect that uh, any correction is a buying opportunity. Right. Uh, Ruchit, uh, Hindalco and Tata Steel, how would you look at them? Let's start with Hindalco. Uh, last, I think it's been uh, last uh, four to five months, I think this high top, high bottom structure is still getting continued. And recently, after two weeks of consolidation phase, the stock has again moved, uh, again has resumed its uptrend. So it's a quite a positive sign that when the uh, correction has come in the stock, it was a time-wise time, uh, time -wise correction uh, rather than a price correction. And again, the stock has now resumed the uptrend. And when the stock is moving higher, the volumes are also quite good. So I think the stock, uh, that's there's no negative sign in the stock so far. 185, 186 could be seen uh, probably in short term in Hindalco. So one can continue to trade on the with positive bias in Hindalco uh, even from current levels. Right, and Tata Steel. Uh, Tata Steel, uh, similar, more on similarly, last 5-6 months, even this stock has been forming this high top, high bottom structure. But one thing is that if we observe the monthly charts and we if we draw the falling trend line resistance on the monthly charts, which is definitely a long term, uh, uh, a long term chart, then the resistance would come somewhere around 445, uh, between 445 to 450, which is quite uh, close to current levels. So we have some sort of resistance around 445 to 450, although there is no reversal sign yet, but I think uh, it needs to cross above 4 45 450 resistance range for uh, for continuation of this uptrend so won't recommend it to buy at current levels but if anyone is already holding the stock see whether the stock uh, if it uh, resists around 445 for between 445 to 450 then look to book profits over there how would you look at uh, infosys it's just not participating into the rally in fact, the most of the IT stocks, if we see, then uh, this has been, uh, the entire sector has been trading in a falling channel. Even the Nifty IT index has been trading in a falling channel. So, unless there is any signs of trend reversal come in this IT as well as, uh, uh, as, well as some of the pharma names, one should not do any kind of bottom fishing in these names. Just because the markets have uh, bounced back in yesterday's session from the lower levels, it doesn't mean that uh, each and every stock or each and every sector with, uh, will participate in the in the next up move. So probably, yes, uh, you, it should not be that one should uh, look to buy at the bottom. It may happen that 5 to 6% or 8% of the bottom would get missed. But unless we get any trend reversal signs, uh, I would still prefer to stay away from the uh, names such as Infosys or uh, TCS. So, Brian, Infosys? Well, uh, I mean, it's a bell the stock, very difficult to ignore. But I am still drawn towards the long-term charts of this, all these companies. In fact, uh, if, I, if I would draw a parallel of something like a pharma, I mean, Sun Pharma, Lupin, they have all bounced off from uh, very significant levels. And uh, I think Infi is also approaching more or less those levels. I think 920 by 930, I think on the long-term charts look decent. So my sense is that uh, one has to be a bit patient, but I think these are all real good levels where one could possibly keep uh, adding, uh, probably do some sort of accumulation. So in term, terms of uh, preference, probably uh, maybe Infosys, or maybe a, or even a, a counter like Wipro and maybe an STL tech. I think this would be the preferred counters. Uh, probably near term some uh, pain could be there with all this nervousness around uh, the possible uh, US uh, policy coming out for all the IT companies, which could affect the IT companies. But I don't think uh, one could uh, one should read too much into it. So one could probably uh, take this opportunity as uh, some sort of a buying, uh, I think, uh, opportunity which, which presents itself and uh, one could do some uh, decent accumulation. Right. Uh, Ruchit, how would you look at uh, Hero Moto Corp? A good correction of more than 20% from the highs. The prices have shown a decent correction and if you observe the yesterday's low, that's a quite crucial because yesterday 
लो वॉज फॉर्म एट द टू हंड्रेड डेज सिंपल मूविंग एवरेज विच वॉज अराउंड थ्री थाउजेंड एंड फोर्टी अल्सो ये सैड इज कैंडल स्टिक पैटर्न वॉज समॉट अ हैमर पैटर्न ऑल दो वी हैव नॉट सीन एनी फॉलो अप मोमेंटम का इन टूडे सेशन सो थ्री थाउजेंड एंड फोर्टी वुड बी क्रूशल लेवल टू वॉच इन केस द स्टॉक ब्रिच इज दैट लेवल देन इन शॉर्ट टर्म वी मे सी सम मोर करेक्टिव मूव सो एनी लॉन्ग पोजिशंस कुड बी हेल्ड ऑन एज ऑफ नाउ टिल द स्टॉक इज ट्रेडिंग अबाउ द टू हंड्रेड डे ऑफ मूविंग एवरेज विच इज थ्री जीरो फोर जीरो Asian paints was also down 4% around the 1000 rupee mark now is uh, similarly even asian paints uh, we have seen that it's uh, trading around its 200 days uh, simple moving average but recent correction uh, after the recent corrective move we have not seen any kind of trend reversal signs in this so i think some more correction could be there in the stock 960 980 probably could be seen again uh, in the next 3 uh, to 4 days so probably would wait for some more uh, uh, positive signs to come in before entering the stock again right uh, so bro what will be your view on asian paint well i think clearly the valuation is now uh, becoming uh, in look pretty, pretty stretched i mean even at the uh, current levels because uh, uh, too many things were going right for these counters because they had soft raw material prices and they had some uh, good bargaining power on the selling side so i think all that uh, seems to have been factored in and now we are seeing this correction but as ruchit mentioned i think close to the levels of 950 975 i think one could seriously look at these counters and uh, there will be the defensive opportunities which will uh, again support the market when there is some sort of a meltdown Right uh, so bro thank you so much Richard always a pleasure talking to you.